So right now, um, what I'm going to end up putting in is uh, Max has a um, cylinder head, double O-ring, pretty good uh, upgrade. And then uh, I've got my cylinder itself. Now I have a ported one because the AG that I'm shooting is a little less than 300 millimeters. Um, depending on the barrel length you're shooting, you really need to check if you need to have a uh, cylinder like this where there's no port or whereabouts the port is. And this is actually the stock one that came with my AG. And if you notice, there quite the difference in where the location is. So, it's probably got a little bit of grease on it, but when you go to install your cylinder head onto the cylinder, the big thing you want to pay attention to is there's a ridge right here. Right here there's this ridge. And you want to line this up as close as possible. You want it to try to be flat. You don't want it indented too far and you don't want it sitting proud. So that's roughly about where we are. And these holes are what are going to sit on your gearbox themselves to hold this in place. Why that's important is you want to make sure your ported hole is either facing out this direction or out the other. So if, when it's inside, you want to make sure you want it sitting inside the gearbox. So you want to have it that way. So, and when we set down, set it right in there, just like so. Now we have that. We have the piston itself. Um, this is an upgrade one that I bought uh, right here. You'll notice it's not damaged. You'll notice that there's a good size gap right here. This is important for angle engagement. We'll be handling that soon. I'm not going to get too far ahead. Some of them do not have that. This one, for example, has one here, but it's shaven down significantly compared to the others. That's another style that they uh, can handle. But again, that's just different variations out there. Got Max's piston head. Uh, Again, it's got a double ring. It's got this big one you can see, and there's a smaller one right to the top of my finger now that's really tough to see. And it comes with all the spacers and um, whatnot that you need. Put these through here, and then through the bottom side is where this gets screwed in. This just sits right on the top. Goes in through that hole itself. That's all set. And now screw push that up get it kind of lined up and once you the screw will once it grabs start to go in and then you just want to get it snug tight you don't want you don't need to over tighten it so that's all you got to do there Now, keep in mind too that going down the sides of these little grooves right here on both sides of the piston. This is what lines up on the inside of the gearbox with this little track right here. This is what keeps it from getting all off center. That's what it rides on. So just keep that in mind, you don't want to put it in the wrong way. We have your nozzle. This is a, another one by uh, Max. And it uh, might be tough to see, but on the inside, there's actually an O-ring. That's going to help for a better seal. Then you've got your tappet plate. Uh, this one I bought, this is an SHS uh, version. Uh, there's a couple on the market, but the biggest thing that uh, you want to make sure is, is once you do get them in, is that you want the nozzle to be able to sit securely in there. You don't want to and turn it upside down that it doesn't fit in there and you don't want to have to press it in very hard. This should just sit in here nice and smooth as this does right here you're grooving open that's where the tapper plate will ride along. So that's what it looks like 
assembled. We don't have the spring in yet, but I'm just checking for uh, moving it slightly back and forth on the gearbox to check. And everything here seems seems pretty smooth. On the second gear itself, you notice there's this little bump right here. And what this is for is this is for your selector chip. This little chip right here. And what this chip, when it's installed on the gear, this is what pulls your tappet plate back. Because as it sits right now, when this is down, the gearbox would only pull it to about there. Now, in this case, actually, that works out just fine. The uh, selector chip may not even be needed. Some of them would. Um, we're just right now, I'm going to run through this. And I'm just simulating as it would uh, turn through here. And let's just start to come forward. 